Hello guys, welcome again to another quick look. Today we have a game that I do not know how to pronounce. Perry Rayan, let's just call it that. Anyway, we will start with a new game and this is how you start the game. You have about three options here on Mars. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there's the third one. You have three options here on Mars to land, and they're all a little bit different. Let's just get these two at the same spot. Like this one is a Condor Chasma. as a real place in Mars, I'm, I'm pretty sure. These guys look like they want to do this really accurately. And they have all this little nice neat scientific info. Oh, that's nice. Oh, they're using kilometers, I already love these guys. Not some fucking miles. You don't use miles in science. Plenty of minerals, easy navigable terrain, make Kandor an ideal place for human settlement. Freaking dust storms, and here's another one. Moth through walls. It's another different place where different stuff kind of happens. It has a lot of resources, but the terrain is a little bit rough. So, and there's also some dust devils out here while we're exploring. I'm gonna go with this one. And here is where you choose your crew, your initial crew. You can apparently also make it random. And we're gonna go with a fully European team, because... Europe, hooray. Alright, there's the Scottish man. Scot, Scot, Scottish man. Women, woman, I'm sorry. A Scottish woman. And then we had a British. Uh, yes, there we go, a British. And... We had a Frenchman here somewhere. I don't, want, I don't know what. Oh, there's we. There we have the Frenchman. All right. So also, as you can see here, are different stats for the person. This guy is very good at engineering and at his athletics, so he can do these kind of tasks. This the Fran Frenchman is good with endurance and science. The Swedish is excellent at science and athletics and endurance okay he's amazing and uh, the Scottish one is uh, a little bit everything best with endurance and he has the high she has the highest charisma out of all my men charisma is used to <laughs> this is a little awkward I would presume because charisma is used to get more funding to your project I would imagine they would all have already have all the funds they need when they're going to Mars. But it's a gameplay mechanic, so you can't always have entire realism. All right, let's start with a normal difficulty. This will, this will have a quick little tutorial, and I will just skip that through and go right into the game for you. The eagle has landed, oh yeah. Alright, so welcome, welcome, welcome to Mars and Mars Valley. The game crashed a while, so I had to do the tutorial again, but now we are here and we can start doing stuff. Let's put this guy, our good old man, into the outside world. He will go and explore. Here we have our little astronaut. Just look at him. Oh, that looks also pretty good. It's a futuristic thing. Let's see if there are any supplies nearby. No, nothing that pings up. But I think that what we need here is something to... We don't have any raw materials and I think we can't build anything unless we get them. Yeah, we need, we need all that kind of materials. We have 11, 16, 22 of any, all of those. I don't remember what they all were, but that's the first thing I think we should build. So we need Fessalite, Hematite and Sulfates. Let's get another guy out. Let's get the Swede. 
Let's weed out. Her IKEA skills will help us to orders? track stuff. All right. All right. Off you go. What? Right away. Um, I thought this was a dude. I'll get right on that. What are my orders? Oh, they also have oxygen levels, so I think I need to be careful about yes. that. Oh, go and get that. Go and get the mine sulfate. This guy sounds really feminine. I didn't know that Mars could do that to you. Okay, that's nothing. Right on that. Yeah, are you sure you're a man? What? How much do we need to build the food thing? Oh, we need still some more of that. We still need some more of that. Sulfate and fusilite. Fusicolite. That's something we also need, but I have no idea what that shit is. Alright, we've got enough of that. Go back. Right. Go back and mine some sulfate. And bring another guy out in here. Alright. Are you also very feminine, Mr. Frenchman? Come on, out of the airlock. What? Why are these guys all feminine? You're a dude, you're a French I'll dude. Right on that. Uh, this is <laughs> really immersion breaking. Understand this is a three man studio but and they can't really do everything. But get some voice actors please. <laughs> I have started something to do. Okay, I haven't done anything. Let's get ice. Hey, drill ice. Drill ice. Are you drilling ice? That doesn't look like drilling ice. Yes. You still have bunch of that stuff. Oh, there's a dust devil over there. That's interesting. That's a piece of rock, piece of rock. We hematite. We don't need hematite. We need fossil physical light. Right. That's physical light. Get it. Get it. Get it, you astronaut. Uh, we are all Europeans. Yes. What's the word for an European astronaut? Russians are cosmonauts. Americans are astronauts. Asians or Chinese are taikonauts. What the fuck are Europeans? I have no idea. You still got air. You still got air, good. We will immediately start building the thing when we have the necessary requirements for the food thing. And that is just a little bit more of those cephalodites. A little bit more of them. One more. One more cephalodite. Phyllosilicate. Phyllosilicate. That's how you pronounce that shit. There we go. Now we can build. This is the build menu. And here you have all kinds of stuff you can build. But now the most important thing is to build a food tank. There we go. We shall order. Who is better engineer? You are the best of engineers. You shall go and build. Right. Yes. How far away did you put that? You fucking imbecile. You're still do mining. You need something? Where are, what do what you are need? My You're still mining that. I think we still need that, okay. What do you need? I think we have enough water for now. What do we need for the water tank? We need more hematite and sil the other thing. Okay, mine some more of that. And I will I'll order one of our extra guys to mine the other thing. Right. So this is basically what you do in the game. You just mine stuff and you have to pe yes. keep an eye on every th everyone so that no one dies horribly. Basic stuff. I'm just going to keep her mining this until she needs to go back. Do you need something? Right, that is already almost built. No, 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 I don't want to be here. Food, okay, what do we need? Can I already build it? Yes, we can build that. Amazing. Yes. Okay. Everyone can go back home base for now. Do you need something? Enter base. Enter base. Do you need something? 
Yes, I need you to man up. You can build this. What are my orders? Is everyone yes. heading back to base? Good. Everyone is heading back to base. What? What are my orders? What do you need? We will add someone to the food supplies and harvest plants because that's what we need to do. We need water also. But we just need to wait until this guy starts making it. I would imagine we also need some power at some point. This is a base tech module. It power provides power grid for the entire base, which is necessary for maintaining electricity, life support, and temperature controls throughout the base. Alright, so we're gonna build that next. We have someone in the food. We're gonna put one of these guys into the this thing when our man has what finished building need? it. Our very feminine man. It's not it's okay to be feminine. It's totally okay to do that. But still, it's very weird. A little creeping. We're gonna need one of these guys to start and go to the airlock and find the necessary components we need. Yes. What, do what do we need, need now? We need hematites and silicates. Okay. Mine sulfate. Yes. You can go back to base. And you will move into I don't know. Hold on, what the fuck does the do this thing do? Yes. Convert ice. Does it convert ice? Do I need to put a guy in there to convert the ice? I'm gonna try that. Your orders are to go over here. Oh, there's a radiation storm going on here. What is it? Coming in. That's fine. That doesn't sound very good. Convert ice. All oh. right. Hold on. Okay then. Oh, I don't have to do. Oh god. She's taking hits. All right. Everyone is taking hits yes. from solar radiation get the fuck into the base orders confirmed no that's not an order <laughs> enter the base <laughs> all right everyone else is already in the base so i don't have to worry about that do they get the health back that would be good all right everyone is in here we're getting food thankfully why are we not getting food i place you to do stuff. Ah. Oh, so I can just click that, okay. Convert water. Where do we get the water though from? It is not even connected. Oh, it takes time. Oh right. I understand. Is the where is the radiation over? Oh it's right there. So we can't do jack shit. Okay. Come on. I believe we can climb that very steep hill. Come on. There we go. We can take a photo. We can take a photo. There we go. Right click when the indicator is green. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we got funding from just taking a selfie on the Mars. It wasn't really a selfie. And the walking apparently is really hard for you. What do you need? Get that data and get out of there. There's a radiation storm incoming. Collect the data. Collect the data. Collect it. There's a radiation storm incoming for fuck's sake. Get the fuck out of there. Get out of there. You're gonna die. Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> You're he, she, he, she is stuck in the terrain. Come on, you can do this, lad. Right away. Come on, lad. I don't remember what. Yes, Order you're a lad. Confirmed. You're a lad. You're a British. You're the British guy. Right away. <laughs> Let us get out here. Orders confirmed. We must get into the base back. <laughs> no, 
Don't mind him, it's Enter the base! Yes, Chario, we must enter the base. Quite, quite you. Yes. Hippity hoppity. Drill for eyes, you son of a bitch. Yes. There we go, drill for eyes. It just doesn't seem she's like she's doing anything. Oh god, oh god, she needs air. Don't die on me! Run! Run to the base! Yes, you are. I just noticed that. I'm deeply sorry. Walk through the rock. That's good. That saves time. Oh, there we go. It'd be good if I could order these guys around on the map, you know. Okay, go back home. Like this. You. Home. But. Nah. Because it's really annoying to do this when you can't even see where the base is. I know it's over there somewhere. If I could just see the base. See the base? It's there. It's a pixel. Enter the base. Good. I don't have to worry about you anymore. Holy shit, guys. Holy shit, guys. We built this geo survey thing. Oh, look. Just look at the Brit. He can't even handle the excitement. He's so excited about this. What? Just look. Okay. We got a bloody rover. We can drive a bloody ro Oh my god, this is fast. No. Welcome to Mars Racer. <laughs> this is a very, very. Just. No, we can't go a straight up wall, but. No, 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 no. Oh my god, this is amazing. Let's take the map. We're gonna go over here and get that final sample thing. Go. Jesus Christ, come on. This is a little weird and awkward because I can't see shit. Don't tell me I'm stuck. Oh god. Has the mission ended in catastrophic failure? No, we got out of that. Okay. Again, we're stuck again. Fuck's sake. And we go through here without getting stuck. This is worse than the Mako. <laughs> At least with the Mako you could see your surroundings a little bit. I just want to get down. Jesus fucking Christ, this is hard to control. How can I do... Spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. God damn it. The rover is awful. There's no feel to it, there's no weight to it, you can't control it in any good old fashion. Even the Mass Effect Mako is better. Somewhere over here. There it is. There is she. There she blows. Alright, here we are. There we go. What do you need? You need to collect data. That's why we're here. In the Martian environment. Day five. I'm still lost in the Martian desert. I have decided to go and explore the unexplorable. I have lost contact with my home base. And I'm heading out to the wild. What will await me? Will I find a Martian, dead Martian civilization somewhere in here? I do not know. But I am bound to find something. Day 11. Madness creeps in. I have not seen anything of interest yet. Even I can also think that the world is disappearing in front of my eyes. Clearly I have gone mad. It seems I am doomed to travel in one small area. For the rest of my eternal life. Day 30. I'm still stuck in the Martian desert. The rover has died. I will soon follow it. This will be my final entry. Water reserves are low, I know. Yes. Here's ice. Drill the fucking ice! You son of a bitch! 
Drill the ice! Drill the ice, you fucking Scottish bastard! Drill the ice! Why won't you drill it? You're going to doom us all! The colony will fail if you don't dig that ice! It's not fine! It's not bloody fine! Get that ice! Get the fucking ice! Yes! Yes! Okay then! You realise we're gonna die! No! No! Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> fuck you, Naomi! Come here! Come here! Yes, fuck you! Who? Who do you think you are? Some sort of fucking renegade, huh? Yes. Naomi, do you really believe that it's okay for you to just go and not do this for your crew members? Your crew members are going to die. You are going to die. That's fine. Are you a fucking maniac? Alright. A maniac, you say? That's fine. Yes. No, it's not fine. It's not fine. You know what? You know what, you fucking name it. If you want to die so badly, you will go out there and you will suffocate yourself to death. Yes. You're perfectly fine with that, aren't you? Naomi, what the fuck are you? You're sick. Okay, then. Don't just say okay, then. You have a problem. Yes. Well, at least you're admitting it. What kind of a person do you think? You're sick. Alright. Yes, you are. You are sick. Just go over okay. there. Just go over there to the far furthest corner. Yes, you can. Alright. There you go. Go into the furthest corner of this desolate... Mars Earth and die there. Send transmission to Earth. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, we are going to uh, tell you that uh, we have failed uh, all. We have totally failed everything in there. Naomi has gone crazy. She won't get the water from the ice. None of us. And we don't even know where the ice is. She's the only one and she's refusing to collect the ice. So the commander in the base has sent her to kill herself in the wastes. She was rather uh, pleased about this for some reason. She's bonkers. Don't set any more men here. There's, some, uh, there's a disease here. There's a disease on Mars. There's a disease on Mars. Do not send people in here. They're all going to die. Oh my god, no! I'm running out of air. Yes, Naomi, you're running out of air. This is what you deserve. You will die here. Go into the darkest pit of that crevice and die. Die. You don't have... There we go. How does it feel, Naomi? How does it feel? It feels alright. Dying feels alright to you. Alright. Be useful and mine sulfates until you die. Good on you, Naomi. You have died. You have died, Naomi. We will soon follow you, but you were the first to go. Okay. I have now the dude's head floating in here. I am the ghost of Mars. So ends the Martian expedition to death. They have all died of dehydration. Our mission has failed. The rover got stuck into the mountains of Mars, leaving the Brit British man to die. The Scottish one hated everyone in equal fashion, but mostly she just wanted everyone dead. So she hit the ice, the only life source that they really had on that planet. She hid it from them and doomed them all to death. Furious by this action, the others sent her to do the walk of shame into the desert, where she perished of losing the, her breath asphyxiation or whatever it is the scientific term for it all the while the French and the Swede made sweet love in the final moments that they had 
they didn't even feel their death. They were so busy banging each other. They died happily. The same cannot be said for the, uh, for the citizens of the United Kingdom. For they did not love. They never loved the huma human race. They only loved themselves. And that is their downfall. So, conclusions, final conclusion from this first impression. The game has promise. It's a little clunky at times, especially the pathing with the people and just controlling them. It's awkward at times. If you could add a, if you could command them through the map, that would help a lot. And the rover also gets stuck on terrain, and you don't really know how it drives because you don't see it in third. You can't see it in third person, which is of course understandable in a way, but it still it feels a little complete at places but it has promise and the premise is interesting space exploration will always be interesting until um, until we are there up until we start living there ourselves so I would recommend this game but I do not know yet that it's full price but I will take a, at least a look at it and decide on yourself if you want to buy it in on the full price or wait for a sale. It's not an awful game, there have been worse ones. Thank you for watching this quickie look and I will see you all next time.